How's it going guys? Noah here and welcome back to another video. So this is part three of going through my friend's grandfather's old collection. We got the box right here. So let's just get right into it. This is probably gonna be a longer video because there's a lot to go through. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll make this into a four part video. But we'll try to only get this in three. We're just going to quickly go through most of these and see. I know the right side of the box has a lot of stuff in it. So we'll see. What do we got here? Nothing good. Keep going through. See if we can get any rookie cards here or some number cards. That is an all-star. Tops, a reward card. Let's see, it's an opening day. Nothing there. Quickly go through it. So, how was everyone doing? Oh, here we go. We got a prospects card. We'll put that back there. It's not too bad. We got an Eddie Murphy. Um, so as I was saying, hope everyone is doing well. Today is Sunday at the time of recording. Um, I have a bunch of stuff coming in this week. So a bunch of openings tomorrow will be. Um, I'll be opening another. Uh, Tops Blaster Box from 2008. There's a nice young Josh Beckett. Let's see here. Oh, this is just a team checklist. I thought it might have been like a rookie or second year car, but that's still pretty cool. We got another Prospects here for the Dodgers. We'll put that back there. We got a first pitch, Luis Gonzalez. I gotta mute my TV. Hold on a second. There we go. Get back into this. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but I was watching some TV before and accidentally left my TV on. Oh, here we go. We got a Joe. I don't believe that is an that is not an autograph. Never mind. Got excited for a second because it looks like it was an autograph card, but it was not. So we will just carry on here. Uh, we got a 2002 Jesus Sanchez. Got another Jesus Sanchez. We got a first pitch, Tony Armas. We'll keep on going. We got another top to reward there. Yeah, we got a Jay Burner, Edgar Martinez, another tops reward. Carlos Feebles. And we got a 2000. What is this? What year is this? A Kurt Schilling card. This is from 2007. Not too bad. Not the bloody sock. Kurt Schilling. So, grab another stack here. We'll keep on going. We got a Chris Swimmer. Some of these ones with like the... Uh, oh, there's a Bortolo Cologne. Not too bad. Some of these cards with like the holographic or foil names are a little hard to read. Got a Greg Myers, a Jose Mesa. We got a Daniel Cabrera from the Orioles. We got Cy Young Award winner Brandon Webb. I don't think that's probably worth anything. We'll toss it back here, possibly. But it's still pretty cool nonetheless. We got a Fleer here. Collector's Choice. We got another first year, so it's not too shabby. We'll put that back there. Got a Greg or a Garth R. Iogar. I don't know how you pronounce that last name. That's quite the interesting name. I've never seen that before. Is this another. This is not a prospects card. Got a Jack Cuss, Pedro Guerrero. We got Joe Torre there. Called Danny Neagle. We got another manager card, Jerry Rust. Keep going through here. Like I said, we got a lot of cards here. So try to go through these as quickly as possible. We got a Mickey Mantle card, not too bad. Let's see a 2004 prospects, Gary Sizemore and Jeremy Guther. So I'll put that back there. That's pretty nice. Keep going on, Aaron Howard. Let's see if we can see anything. I'm also looking to see if there's any cards that I'm interested in. Uh, trying to. Get from my friend add to my personal collection. There's a Jorge Posada. We got a checklist. Brian Gillis. Let's see. File through these. We got a top prospect, Raul Casanova. So we'll put that back there. 
a 2002 prospect, Nick Jackson. So we'll put that back there as well. Unsung Heroes, Javier Lopez. That's pretty interesting. So we're getting a lot of prospect cards. Not too shabby. It's pretty close to getting like rookie cards. So we'll take what we can get here. Uh, we got a Gill. We got a, here we go. We got a star rookie, Dennis Stark from the Mariners. We'll put that back there. We got the gold foil, Brent Tomko. What is this? It's backwards. I don't know. Nothing special there. Preston Wilson. We got a, another Preston Wilson. Norm Charleston. We got a first pitch, Bobby Estella. Millie Jackson and D'Angelo Jimenez. So I'm going to organize this stack right here and we'll get back to it. Alrighty, so let's grab another chunk here. That I feel like I haven't made a dent on this left side of the box yet. There's just so many cards in this box. This might have to be a four. Oh, there we go. We got a rookie, Glenn Perkins. Um, this might have to be a four-part video. So you'll see this one come out Monday. And then if we do go to four parts, part four will come out Tuesday afternoon. So we're doing two part videos for today which is sunday monday there's another prospect card and tuesday if you guys like the two part videos let me know down in the comments section because i can probably continue to do them if they do well and you guys enjoy it also let me know down there's another prospects card let me know down in the comments section what time um, you guys prefer I upload my videos. I've been doing, I've been trying to do it some, most of the time in the afternoon is another star rookie, Cliff Lee. That's actually a pretty good card. That might be Cliff Lee, a very good picture. That actually might be worth something. I'll take a look later. Um, but yeah, let me know what video or what time you guys prefer I post. Um, so, uh. Whatever works out better is another. There's a Chone Figgins. Um, I, like I said, I've been alternating between doing it early in the morning or later in the afternoon. Haven't really seen much of a difference. Another rookie there. Um, haven't noticed much of a difference in turn of views as a draft pick card right there. Um, so whatever majority you guys, maybe I'll put a poll or something. Or you guys can just, like I said, comment down below and let me know what time you guys prefer and then i guess whatever gets the most uh votes i will start uploading at that time unless i start doing two videos and i'll just do one in the morning one in the afternoon i have not decided yet so we'll have to cross that bridge when it comes so still filing through here i haven't noticed anything in a little bit we were getting a lot there's another cy young card we're getting a lot of rookies on this side, but it's kind of slowed up a little bit. Let's see, we got AJ Burnett. I, for some reason, I thought that was a special card. Uh, and Clay Hensley's the last one there. We'll go through here. So it looks like I'm starting to get there. We got a backwards card here. Probably nothing special. Uh, let's see. Nope. So we'll keep going here. I'm trying to think of what to just rant about. But every time I seem to get on a rant, we uh, find either a rookie card or some card I talk about. And then I just kind of forget. There we go. We got a gold parallel card there. So that's pretty cool. I uh, start. I get off topic there. There's another gold parallel league leaders. That's really cool. He's a first year Rodney Choifu. This card's got a little nick taken out of it. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, it's not an important card, so it's not really that big of a deal. But, um, so would you guys think we will have, or I actually will leave this, what sport do you think will be the first one to come back? We have baseball, which is supposed to be starting. You have MLB and the NHL, which are supposed to be in their playoffs right now. And you have other sports like NASCAR, golf, all that type of stuff. So there's another prospects card. Let me know down in the comments as well what you think is a first year's card. Poor positioning. This is 
quite an interesting card. This is from MLB Showdown Sports Cards. I've never seen that before. Um, let me know down below who you think is a 2002 Topps Gold Parallel Russ Davis. Let me know there's another first year card. If I can even get this sentence out. Um, let me know down below. Here, we'll stop right here for a second. And so I can get this out. Let me know down below. What sport you think will come back first and when you think they will come back first? It sounds like they were talking today that the NBA, there's a nice young Tim Wakefield there when he was on the Pirates. Is that a rookie's card? The rookies. So this might be a rookie Tim Wakefield card. I, growing up when I played baseball, I Tim Wakefield was one of my favorite pictures just because when I played, um, I was told I... Threw a good knuckleball. Um, I was young enough where I didn't know what a knuckleball was, but apparently the way I threw when I was pitching resembled a lot like Tim Wakefield. So I started watching a lot of Tim Wakefield videos as J.D. Drew when he was on the Cardinals and in Orlando Cabrera. So I started watching a lot of Tim Wakefield uh, pictures or uh, videos and really started to uh, become a fan of him when I was young. So... That's not a bad card. I actually might talk to my friend about possibly getting that one. We'll add that to my ever never ending list there. We got a Pokey Reese card from when he was on the Mariners. So we're getting seeing some interesting stuff here. We're starting to get to what we got. We got NL AL Rawlings Gold Glove Award for Kenny Rogers. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping we get some type of sports soon because I'm starting to slowly lose what little sanity I have left when it comes to sports. I'm a big sports guy. I watch baseball, basketball, hockey, football. So I'm used to that going on multiple times. Here we go. We got a Chris Naverson rookie card. I'm used to, you know, having some type of sports on 24-7, or at least without going without it. Here's an Albert Pujols gold glove card. That's another card I want to talk to my friends about. We got a Josh Gibson home run number uh, insert. That's pretty nice. We got a highlight checklist. But, um, yeah, I'm used to watching sports all the time. And I enjoy watching sports, but we haven't had sports in quite a while. I guess the most interesting thing, we got another rookie card that we've had recently would be this is Scott Rowland. Was we had the NFL draft this weekend and Friday. So at least we got a little bit of sports there. I'm going to move this stack over here to my left. Try to make some more room in front of me here. Grab another stack here. Yeah, it's definitely looking like we're going to be doing a four-part video. Because I've barely made a dent in this left side. And we still have a full right side. There's another Ozzy Smith. J.D. Drew. See if we can get any. That's not a rookie card or anything. There we go. We got a nice chrome card there. It's numbered. It is not numbered. Still a nice-looking card. Jared Weaver. Matt Thorson, Jonathan Broxton. Is this, uh, what's his name? Nope, Marcus Thames. I was thinking of someone else for some reason. Um, I'm running out of things. This is a Vladdy Guerrero Sr. Another Gary Sheffield. Josh Beckett. We got a Bento Santiago. I think is how you, uh, Pronounce his name, not 100% sure. Got a Tim Raines. There we go. We got a rookie Kevin Kuzminoff. Kuzmin? Kuzmoff? However you say that. Uh, let's see here. Jim Thome. Ken Griffey Jr. from when he was on the Reds. Oh, there's a card. Stuck behind him. What do we got here? Dave Roberts. So nothing too special. There we go. 2002 Gold Parallel Chan. Ho Park. Not too bad there. Let's see what else we got. Is that a David Wells card? It is Vernon Wells. My bad. I don't know who David Wells is or why that came. There's a Michael Old card. Not too shabby. I feel like I say shabby and not too bad quite often here. I just run out of things to say. So I just kind of 
go on autopilot and apparently those are my default words we got a star power carlos bragger there shannon stewart we got a vinny Ro rotino rookie card got an expos card there so definitely we're getting a lot of rookies this uh, time around compared to the other ones. we got a classic combos there. We got a Jeff Kent. Let's see if we got anything else. What is... No, that's nothing special. Try to go through. I got a few more left here. We got another one of those Josh Gibson home run cards. Keep going. And that'll do do it for this stack i'm gonna make a cut right here i need to stretch real quick my arms are getting a little tired all righty we are back we're gonna quickly try to get through some more this honestly uh might be a four i think there's a card stuck here there's uh yeah there is if i can't hold on let's see if i can there we go there is a Prospects Hank Ballack card. So we'll put that back there. Let's see what else we got. Mickey Mantle. We got a leading off card. A few older ones. See if we can find any more rookies here. Or cards that I might be interested in getting from my friend. Um, to add to my collection. Let's see, we got an Eric Show. We got a that Benito guy again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is Zach Ranky. Actually. Oh, that's a, just another check card. We got a Kip. Let's see if we can find I'm hoping to get like a really nice rookie card here. That's a nice looking Evo card. There's a star rookie, Ramon Santiago, so we'll add him back here. Some Dunruss cards. What do we got here? Rich Becker, offensive rookie class. So it's another rookie card. Toss that back there. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I see something that's gonna blow my mind here. We've gotten there's a nice young Miguel Cabrera. We've seen quite some stuff of Jim Edmonds as well. Let's see if we can get a couple more nice things before we end the videos. Roy Holiday. There's Ichiro. Let's see, Justin Morneau. Uh, there's Kerry Wood. Scratch off. Oh, wait, this is a scratch off card. Hold on, let me put these to the side. So this is a sports nut fantasy game. Kerry Wood scratch off. Let's see here what this says. So it says how to play, game of skill, winner selection. Oh, so this is like a nice little scratch-off type game you would play with friends. So that's pretty cool. Let's put that back there. I've gotten a couple of the newer scratch-off ones from some of the newer sets. I got one of Vladdy Guerrero Jr., but I haven't seen them quite like that. The one I have is different compared to that one. There's a uh, Brett Saberhagen. There is an Expos, Tim Raines, Nicky Punto. Another home run card. Put that back there. Another Albert Pujols card. So that's another card I will be talking to my friend about. Uh, I am a big, huge Albert Pujols fan. I would say it's equal with my fandom for Chris Carpenter. Obviously, Albert Pujols plays for the Angels. Still a huge fan. Been a huge fan of him since I was a kid. Um, I would like his. Oh, there we go. We got another gold parallel. Does that say 68 years of collecting? Is this numbered? It is numbered 1944 out of 2004. So that's really nice there. Let's see. Got an Alex Gonzalez. A Bo Jackson. Not too bad. Zach Granke, Future Stars. That's another nice card right there. We got a Mike Wood. There we go. We got a Randy Johnson. It's not too bad. Upper Deck Evolutions. E card upper deck classic. So this is a star rookie card. Does it tell me who it is? Rodriguez. Oh, is that wait, is that Alex Rodriguez? Oh, okay. This is interesting. So we got Alex Rodriguez Upper Deck Evolution E card. I've never seen this, but it being A Rod, this has to be a really nice card. So we're gonna actually I'm just gonna sleeve that up right away. Obviously, A Rod 
known more for his time with the Yankees. That's when he did most of his stuff. But this is him when he was with on the Mariners. So I'm sure that's a nice card. I'll have to look that up later. But we'll toss that in a sleeve real quick so nothing happens to it. We'll go through. We got some Marcus Gillies there. Uh, Frank Thomas. Kurt Schilling when he was on the Diamondbacks. Jose Mesa. We got a Brad Brink. We got a manager card. And a couple older cards here. We'll quickly go through. We'll probably do one more stack and then we will call it for this video. There's another Bowman Pat Burrell card. Jimmy Rollins. We got a Jeff Conti. Bob Witt. Go through. We got a few more left in this stack. Uh, Jamie Moyer, Justin Lone. What's this? We got a star rookie card here. Who is this for? Your Gareth Uriba, Urbina. We'll put that there. We'll grab one more stack, and then that will be the video. We're already at it over 20 minutes, so I would like to try that. We got another first year card here. We'll put that back there. Make sure these cards are separated. So this actually might go on through the week, possibly. we got two cards stuck together here, I believe. Oh, no, we don't. This is just a big Barry Larkin card. Nothing too special on it. we got a Glenn Perkins draft pick card. We got, let's see, Carmelo Castell. Let's see if we got anything special here. I think it's a Schnelp. It's nothing see go through this last stack and then i will make a pause i will round up as another draft picks card i will sleeve up those cards back there and we will look through the important cards that we found today or the ones that i think could be worth something and then we will call it for today and then some like i said tomorrow and tuesday maybe possibly wednesday we will be getting some of these, um, me finishing up this collection. There was a lot here. I originally thought I could do this in two videos, but there is just way, there's another Sammy Sosa card. There is a lot here, way more than I thought. I thought I could get through them pretty quickly, but it seems like it's never ending. Um, and I don't want to make like an hour long video because my arms will get tired and I want to keep everybody's attention as much as I can with this but so i'm gonna make a pause here i will sleeve up those cards we will show them one more time and then we will call it so i went through and i sleeved about three or four cards that um looked like would be good enough to sleeve the rest i kind of just left so we got a bunch of these rookie and gold parallel cards here first year cards future uh stars we got the home run cards so all these I did not decide to sleeve because I don't believe they're going to be really worth much. I mean, yes, the rookie cards, but none of them really did anything when they were in the league. So I don't see it. This one possibly, I actually forgot to sleeve that one. But besides that, I don't really see any of these being worth too much. So the ones I ended up sleeving were... We had this Chavez, this uh, Avoy Chavez. It was numbered. I didn't notice it originally, but it's hidden on him. It is 2003 out of 2005 numbered. We had this numbered card. We had the Jose Gulin or Gullion, which is 1944 out of 2004 numbered. We had that rookie A-Rod card and then the scratch-off Kerry Wood card, so... Those four here, and then probably this um, Cliff Lee card will be sleeved. I think those are the most valuable out of that stack, the ones I put to the side. But that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're getting closer to 25 subs, and I'm hoping to get to 50 subs pretty soon. So... Um, yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, part four will be out Monday and then part five Tuesday. If we go that far, I have no idea how many parts we're in. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this collection because for me, there are some pretty cool cards here. But yeah, and I'll catch you guys later.